Notable, I think, is that there is a class consciousness developing, and it is being born out of the real pain of these people. Working class, blue collar, and lower middle class, white collar workers have suffered under global economic trends. They have been forgotten in the hallways of power and in the executive offices of those who managed to benefit from globalization. The result is a strong sense of grievance. Yet, as Dorothy Day used to caution her young volunteers who would come to the Catholic worker house with romantic images of the poor, portraying them as humble, grateful, and pleasant despite their suffering. She used to try to sober them up and tell them they smell, their teeth are bad, they're rude, they're ungrateful. Well, we ought to be sober about this white working class and their anger. They ought to be treated mercifully, but they themselves are not particularly merciful. For the most part, their pain has not taught them compassion and solidarity. Rather, people have become embittered by their pain and have opted for scapegoats. Wall Street and bankers, if you like Sanders, immigrants and people of color, if you like Trump. The suffering of people during the Great Depression taught a generation of workers about the need for solidarity, for interdependence, for community. Many of the hurting workers in our time reject unions, show little solidarity with others who do not look like them, and whose vision of community is basically to isolate this nation from the rest of the world.